All right, welcome to Programming with Steven. So today, we are going to try and create this wonderful web page. It's just the first main page. That's what we're doing in this video. Uh, we want to get the, um, the navigation bar. That will probably be the most important portion. And then, you know, a little bit of text and a little bit of picture. Uh, that nav bar, though, is going to be reused over and over. So we're going to spend a little bit of time making sure this gets right. Let's talk about the nav bar really quick. I do like the horizontal format. I'd like it to stay on the top. I think that's really cool. Like when you scroll down and the nav bar is always there. I, I, I like that. And then it would also be nice to be able to tell, you know, at a glance, which one is the active, you know, web page, which one are we currently on. So I want it highlighted somehow to know where we're at. So um, to do this, uh, to do this, we are going to use tool, two tools. The first tool is already up on the screen, and that is W3 Schools. I've already done a search for um, nav bar. Um, literally what I did was I opened up a search bar right here, and I typed in navigation bar, and it brought me to here. Which is, which is where we're at. And, and I think this one right here, this black one, or possibly this gray one, I, I like this. You know, this is kind of what I want. I would like mine to be a little more like centered. Um, you know, this is, this is sort of on the left and that's kind of on the right. That's great. I, I want mine kind of evenly spaced all the way across. So we'll figure out how to do that. The next tool that we're going to use is JS Fiddle. Let's run this. Uh, as you can currently see, I did a little bit of practice before, but I didn't want to get too far ahead. So this is our blank JS Fiddle. And we are going to scroll down a little bit to the navigation bars. So effectively, a navigation bar is just a list of links, right? And so we're going to use a um, unordered, a UL list. And then it's going to have a bunch of list items. That's going to be the actual links. And the code for that looks like what it looks like right there. Um, if we clicked over here into the try it yourself, we would actually see this is all of the code built into one document or one HTML file. And then this over here is what it presents as or what it shows up as. Oh, there's a couple of things wrong with this. First, this is horizontal. It's got bullet points. Um, it's not what we want. Uh, we want it, you know, but it's it's close. It's close. It's, it's a bunch of links. Also, these links aren't really going anywhere. They're just hashtag home, hashtag news. Um, so they're not like real links, but they'll work. They'll work for now, or at least they'll work for testing. So we don't need that. Um, let's go back into here. So we can change the way those links work by messing around with the CSS or the cascading style sheets. Um, and for our JS fiddle, this is where we're going to put our HTML. And over here is where we're going to put our CSS. So for us, we can actually do something like take this beautiful ordered list, copy that, paste it into here. Let's run it. See, we've got that beautiful ordered list. It's not exactly what we want. But then we can take this CSS, copy it, and put it right into here and run this. And now our, our list has changed. And if we actually look at the kinds of changes that we've made, we've made the change to the UL tag. So this is the unordered list tag. And we've done a list style type as none. So our options for that are, of course, bullet points or non-bullet points. Um, you know, removing the bullet points would be none. We've also set the margin to zero. That means we're not gonna have a lot of spaces. And we've also removed the padding. We set that to zero to, to just sort of override any sort of spacing that is the browser default. Um, so this is great. Uh, we're gonna keep going with this, but again, we're gonna keep scrolling down. This is the vertical navigation bar. We don't want that. More vertical navigation bar. It looks cute, but I want it to be, ooh, Here's how we do some active stuff. Add an active class to the current link to know which page they are on. That's that's nifty. We'll we'll come back to that. I'm sure center links and add borders. That could also be useful. Centering text align. All right. Um, here's the full height vertical bar, which is which is good. See, like it it sticks around while the whole page scrolls. But we want ours to be on top. Ah, here we go, horizontal navigation bar. So there's two ways to create the horizontal nav bar. It's one is using inline or the other one is using floating list items. So here's how we're gonna do inline list items. Um, it's specify, it's one of the ways is to build a horizontal, 
One way to build a horizontal navigation bar is to specify the li element as inline, in addition to the standard code above. So we're going to take that li, copy that over. You know what? Like it wasn't that hard. Let's uh, see if I can remember it. li, and then we're going to call it inline. What, what, what was that? Display in line. Okay, so display and then in line. A little semicolon at the end. So if we run this, hey, we've got it all on one line. This is, we are moving in the right direction now. So by default, li elements or list item elements are block elements. However, if we remove the line breaks before and after each list item to display them as one line or sorry, here, we remove them. So that's cool. Um, and then we can also do a floating item list. So another way of, of creating it is to uh, float the li items and specify a layout for the navigation lists. So we could float the left, and then we can make them a block, and we can give them padding and a background color. So let's actually see what that does. Let's, uh, instead of inline here, let's, can I make that a comment? That's not how we do comments. Okay, so that's all right. We'll just, and then float, and then left. Let's run that. Okay, same. In so interestingly, we got rid of our spaces there, but we can fix that by messing around with the A uh, stuff. So we're gonna go display block, padding, and background color. So let's do that. So here comes A, and we have block, padding, and background. Was it color? Let's double check that. I feel like I've misspelled some. Oh yeah, we have display block, padding, background, one word, minus color. Okay, so let's come here. This is display, and then that's block, and then padding, and this is background, not background. Uh, okay, background, not ground. Man, spelling is hard today. Background color background color. Okay, and they've used all D's here, uh, eight pixels and block. So we've got the block, let's go for eight pixels. Whoa, that was weird. P, X, that's better. And then here we can do the hashtag and we can actually pick our own color anywhere between zero, um, nine and A to F. Uh, they chose all these. So let's just pick a random color right there. We'll run this and we can absolutely see that that is our beautiful, horrendous looking kind of blue color. Um, that's fine with me. Uh, if anybody's curious, these first two color or first two digits right here are the red. So this is no red. Um, the next two colors or the next two digits are the green and FF would be all green. And then the next two would be the blues. Um, and somewhere between A and F or zero and F is probably around eight. So let's go ahead and run that. And this is uh, mostly green with a little bit of blue and no red, right? So we can change the color right there. Pick your color. If you really want to pick a color, you can always Google, you know, web colors or hex code colors and you'll find a chart to find which color that you want. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at that horrendous green color. Um, so the floating to the left, it's getting them to sort of slide next to each other. The display block displays the links as a block element, makes the whole link area of clickable, not just the text, which is actually really good. If we if we click over here, right, this is, oh, well, yeah. Uh, that whole thing is is clickable now. It's not just the the words, which is good. Uh, padding, since the block elements take up the full width available, they cannot float next to each other. Therefore, specify some padding to make them look good. And then, of course, we've got the background color. And this DDD is a sort of gray background color to each element. Well, maybe that'd be a little more professional. Let's just make all of this Ds. I don't know, man. I, I think there's something fun about just having some random greens in there, you know? I'm just going to go with it. Zero, zero, FF, zero, zero. There we go. Just straight up green. I, I like the green. Okay, there we go. Nice bright green. You can make your color whatever you want. So add the background color to UL instead of the A element if you want the full width background color. Oh, actually, that is what we want. We don't want it down here. 
we, we don't want each one to be a different color, I don't think. Uh, let's, let's get rid of that. We'll put it up here. Uh, let's see if that changes anything. Uh, hello. It, it seems to have broken it. My colors aren't showing up anymore. That's set. So that's set. We'll just we'll just put it right back in, right back into there. Now my colors are back. Okay. So I mean, it said that we could put it into there, but it didn't seem to work. So we're going to create a basic horizontal navigation bar, change the background color of the links when the user mouses over them. Ooh, that would be cool. Okay. So we can have we can see that our list style type is none, our margin is zero, our padding zero, overflow is hidden, and background color is, and they've just used 333. Okay, um, let's go ahead and check ours. Our list has the list style, our margin, our padding. Uh, we, they have an extra overflow and they have a background color. So let's go ahead and take that. Mine now, so so we're going to add the overflow and the background color. And if we run this, okay, we can see that we've got some some background color there. That's interesting. Let's get rid of that background color. Do I have it all black now? It's all black. Well, that's great. Why didn't that work before? What about my awesome little zero zero f f zero zero? Right, like. There's my green. I, I swear I just had the background color there and it didn't work. And now it is. Okay, that's fine, whatever, whatever. Uh, my list item, we still have float to the left. That's good. Now here we actually have an LIA, which means that we're only going to be adjusting the A uh, you know, values or the formats for the A sections of HTML code if it's inside of an LI, I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which means that we're not going to screw up all of our links because right now if we just came down here and had an a ref um, uh, equals sure yeah test dot html sure and then um, buggy buggy uh, if we ran this it, it it doesn't look anything like well that's because we're floating it to the left right uh, we have the display of the block and the padding as well. But if we took down here the same background color, put it back into here, then ran it, all of our things would be having that background. But if we only do this to LIAs, then this A down here won't be affected. And that's, that's actually kind of what we want. We want our list items to have a different sort of like A formatting, or, and the A here being this A tag right? And this LIA being built into this LIA. And this LI is, is getting all of the list items for all of our lists. But when we specifically have a list link item, um, then, it, then it does this cool thing. And our other links, our other A links, A tags aren't going to be, uh, uh, you know, adjusted in their styles. So it's good to know. Um, but we want to well, we want to do the display block, color white. Ooh, we can use colored names for color text align center, padding. We have two different values for padding here and then text decoration. So um, let's go ahead and fix some of that. So we've already got the display block and our padding. And that's the display block. This is our padding. So we need the color and the text align, right? So our color is going to be white. Our text line is going to be center. Color white text align center. And then we also have a text decoration, which is none, but uh, we're going to get rid of this color section right here. Text decoration and then done and let's go ahead and run that see what change okay so the color of our actual text has changed to, to, to white uh, which is interesting I don't like it white there let's try blue yeah I think the blue and the, the green seem a lot better to me and now we're gonna go with uh, changing the link color 
on a hover. So if we do li and then a hover, we can change the background color. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we come down here. This is the list item, the li, and there's the a. And here we're going to have hover. So now when it's hovering or when we mouse over something, we can change the text background, uh, which was just called background color. And we got to spell background color properly. And I wonder if we can just go like gray. Um, run that mouse over this stuff. And in fact, it does change colors now. This is, I'm super pumped about this. We are, we are moving. Of course, this says home, news, contact, and about. I really should change that. We've got six of these that we want to do. Home is one of them. Uh, we're going to change the HTML over here, lyrics. Um, then we've got tour information, Oop. tour. And then we also have Oh, the about comes next. That's great. So we want another list item. Um, and that's going to be a link. href equals. Oh, let's go ahead and call this. Oh, I sh should name the, these different things as well. Uh, this one's going to be called videos. I don't know what ASP means. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to. I'm just going to not. I'm just going to not, I'm just going to put videos there. And then here, I'm going to call this videos. That should be about, let's get rid of the ASP thing. That, that's fine. That should be tour. This one should be called lyrics. And this one, let's just call this one. Oh, all right. That's fine. Uh, let's add another one. Li and then href. And that's a hyper reference. That's what href stands for, I believe. Um, we also wanted a contact. And there's our, and we'll just call it contact. Contact, yeah, that looks like it's spelled good. So if we run this, we've got some new links there. That's, that's very good, very good. Um, I think, I mean, we are 90% of the way done with this, this sort of navigation bar. I've got them where I want them. You know what, though? If I scroll down here, I'm not sure if it'll scroll with me, right? That, that I wanted. And then I also wanted to make it kind of full length or full width. All right, I hit that record button again. So hopefully not much has changed since last time you saw me. Um, let's review what we were trying to do here. We've got a beautiful looking... Um, navigation bar at the top of the screen. We want to be able to keep it at the screen and we want to sort of spread these words out so that they're taking up the whole way or the whole the whole width of the screen. So let's stick with, oh, and then there's the active that it doesn't seem to do anything. Let's ooh, look at all this text. Let's run this. Let's click on the news contact. These don't go anywhere. Okay, so so the active hover dot not dot active. That's hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, so this is this right here is 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 changing the hover when it's not active, and if yeah, this one is active, so it's not changing color on the hover, which is fine. I don't I don't care, whatever. Write align links. Uh, write align links by floating the list items to the right. Float to the right. Oh, okay, that's cool. So here's all the left side ones. Here's the right side ones. We can also do some border dividers, which might make it a little more classy. Um, border right. Okay, that's um, one pixel solid gray. And then the last child has no right border over here. There's no right border, which is also cute. Let's um, let's add that because I, I like the way that looks. So, what did it call? Border, border, and then no, hold on, right, and then one pixel, and solid, and they used the uh, hashtag. Uh, I want to do mine red. How am I going to do red? FF0000. Bam. Uh, let's see if that's a beautiful red border. 
and it is. It's a, it's a beautiful red border. I'm going to give some people some definite, like, um, well, they're going to definitely have some problems uh, eventually. So, but not today. Not today. I'm sorry for all of you uh, colorblind humans out there or uh, regular blind humans that are just like freaking out because of my color choices. Now, they also had a, mm, afterwards, they had this cool thing where they had the L LI last child, right? Which is a special section uh, adding just to the list item for the last child. That's the last one. We're not going to have a border on its right side. So as we can happily see here in this context, we've got a border on the right side. We don't want that. So we're gonna add right here, LI last child. And then we're gonna go give this a border right and we'll right and none. Run that and it looks like it did in fact get rid of our border right there, which is cool, which is very cool. I keep going back to that one. We don't need it, we want this one. Um, now, oh, fixed navigation bar. Here's what we want. Make the navigation bar stay at the top of the page even when the user scrolls the page. So here's some text. That's cool, and here's some some other stuff there. So we should actually have a bunch of text as well, so we can we can test this out. Okay, so um, the unordered list position is going to be fixed, top and width. Okay, we can do that. So here's our unordered list. Let's go ahead and add a position, and it's going to be fixed, and then we have a top, and that's at zero zero pixels or just zero just zero okay and then we have a width and that's going to be 100 percent is it percent like that yeah 100 percent. okay so we're going to run that oh something weird just happened i got rid of <laughs> i got rid of the uh these words these words just disappeared i believe that they are behind that um yeah, that's that. That was weird. Um, let's add. Let's let's go try it yourself here, and let's just grab a bunch of this stuff. <laughs> let's take all of this. It's mine now. Uh, copy that. It's just it's just text. You know, it's just a bunch of text. We'll run that. Now we have something to scroll with, and our our stuff scrolls, and we're happy about this. But uh, this text right here this one little line did in fact disappear so let's get rid of that put it inside of this right there and let's see if it shows back up so let's run that ah and it did it showed back up um interesting we've got a situation here where we can put things on top of other things that that's that's nifty it's kind of glitchy but it makes sense because this is staying on the top and so if the page starts at the top, then, you know, this buggy buggy link to, to nothing is going to be up at the top as well. Um, yeah, that, that makes sense. So we just have to make sure that our information's going to be within, you know, or not hiding underneath it when we start, which shouldn't be a problem. Uh, a couple other weird things here. I'm seeing this white gap. That might be just a you know, thing because of JS fill and there's a little white gap over here too. So looks like the next thing we need to do is make all of these centered, evenly spaced somehow, you know, going around. Um, and that doesn't seem like it's going to be too hard. Let's see. Let's see. Um, this is our unordered list. We got a position. That's the whole thing. Here's our list items. We've got float left. We could float right, and then that, that'll make them all go over that way, right? Let's run that. Yeah, they're all over there now, kind of backwards as well, which is interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. I wonder if we can do a center. Uh, let's see, we'll run that. Ooh, okay, so that not at all what we want to do. Um, float left. Okay, so let's run that. Hmm. <laughs> um, so these are text aligned to center so that they're in the middle of their own little sections there with their padding. Um, so let's come on over here 
and let's go that's a gray navigation bar that's a sticky navigation bar oh that's that's weird that's okay relative and fixed depending on the scroll position positioned relative until a given offset oh that's that's cute yeah we don't need that um i mean it is cute but we don't need that responsive top nav uh we're good with that too oh, this is just like depending on the layout of the screen um, responsive side nav again depending on the layout of the screen uh, drop down nav bar we that's cute but we don't need that either um, so let's try you know over here I'm looking at my CSS things and I'm, I'm trying to find if there's something that looks like maybe position maybe float maybe a line Let's try a line, center elements horizontally and vertically, center align text, yeah. center an image. How do we do centering multiple items, right? Or center the whole thing, or, uh, you know, that's clear fix. Hmm. Center vertically using padding. Okay, center vertically using inline height. Oh, wait. Center vertically and horizontally, text align is center. We want to do more than just one piece of text, though, right? Um, Flexbox. Flexbox could, could work. Mm, could work. Display flex. Try it yourself. Let's, let's see. Vertically centered, centered. Here's our Flexbox div class center, vertically aligned. Let's make a couple of these and see what happens. Run that. Ah, this is this is pretty good. Let's get rid of one of those. Run that. That's really good. Let's get rid of that one. Run run that. That's this is what we want. So we want a dot center to display as flex. Um, and then we can do a class center. Yeah, let's, well, we don't need all of this, right? We want the display flex. We want the dot center. And then we can do the class, ooh, or, or maybe we can do the display flex inside of the list, the UL. Because we don't have a display here. So let's try display and then flex. And then let's run this and see if anything's breaking. Nothing's breaking yet. Uh, we don't need that open. Here we go. We have justify content. Um, yes, justify content. Let's do center. So right here, justify content and then center. And let's run that. Ah, that's, that is really good. That is really good. That's exactly what I wanted. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. That's, I'm just going to call it, that's what I wanted. I want my little things there. That's a beautiful. That's, and there we go. The display flex and justify content center. So now that we've got our top navigation bar, um, that's in this section right here is the actual HTML. And all of this is the CSS, the style for the navigation bar. We can now add the next thing I wanted were a couple of words and a picture right so let's get rid of um well gold darn it let's let's leave that div there let's get rid of all of this and then let's add some words um let's put them in a, in a p actually let's make this a, a heading one because i want it i want it big you know so heading one and I want to say something like Weird Al is the best. All right, let's run that. Weird Al is the best. Yay. Perfect. And then let's have an image here. Um, yeah. Yeah, we just need a picture of Weird Al. Let's go find a picture of Weird Al. Not weirdal.com, but just, you know, just Weird Al. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, let's do a Weird Al Yankovic. Here's uh, some images. Look at that beautiful looking human being right there. But I like him when he had the more curly hair back in the 80s, you know? So let's go find an old picture of him. Ah, here we go. Even worse. There, that's, that's the picture I want right there. Um, when he looked like Rambo. I'm just looking. I'm just, I'm just loving the way. Here we go. There, there. That's the image. This is the one we want. So now, because we're using JS Fiddle and we can't exactly upload video or pictures to JS Fiddle, we're just going to like find that image, um, and we're going to find the like location of that image by opening the image in a new tab. And this, whew, look at this. This is the address that we're going to put um, into here. So we can go image is the image, and then the SRC that's the source equals that image. Uh, address and then we just we just run it and our image shows up yay now okay look it's not the end of the world but I wanted the picture here right and right now we have the picture underneath the text so we can we can fix this you know we could do what where do we do this thing this float left I'll bet that we can probably take this copy into here and just do some inline can we just do some inline style equals float left? Oh, weird things happen. Let's see. Run that. That didn't didn't actually help uh, because ah, there we go. It, did, it didn't help because it was it was too far away. Um, so that's that's better. That's, that's what we want. If we're looking on a screen that's big enough, it, it does float to the left. If we get rid of that float left here, well, if we get rid of this float left, let me just cut that out. Um, and when we run this, no matter how far we go, it'll still be below it. And so this is called, this is just inline. Ooh, I had, a, I had an error there. Let's run it without the error. Okay, so just to make sure here, right? Yeah, no matter how far we go, how big our screen is, um, we need that inline style, and we're just changing it for that one particular um, section. And so let's run that again. If we pull it over, that is our image. I mean, I mean, come on, right? Like I did, I did a great job. We got the nav bar. That I know we took some time on it, but we're going to be able to use that nav bar, oh, nav bar over and over and over. Um, so it was, it was important to get it right the first time. Then we got some text, and then we got our picture to the left of it, um, to the right of it, right and left. Who, who can tell the difference? So that is it for this particular video. Um, don't forget to send me a link. Oh, actually, let me hit the Save button here. And this will be my JS Fiddle. Uh, and I, I can save it. And yeah, I, I hit the Save button there. And it looks like that's my link. So I'll share that link along with this YouTube video. Thank you. And boy, I hope this was recording.